Very good morning children and welcome back to your English class. Today we are going to take a new chapter from your term 2 textbook. Okay, this is the first chapter. Okay, what is the title of the chapter? The Port of Milk. Now we are going to read the story about a very lazy and a poor man called Cribben. Okay, let us see what happens in the story once there lived a man called Cribben. he was very lazy and poor he did not like to work at all but he dreamed of being rich someday he got his food by asking others for arms one day a lady gave him a pot of milk when he came home he drank some milk to the remaining milk he added some curd okay what was the name of the man? Cribben. Okay, he was very poor and a lazy man. And he did not like to work. And what he always dreams of? He always dreams of becoming a rich man some of someday. Okay. Now, how will... Uh, he get food he is not he is not ready to work and he always dreams of becoming a rich man and he used to uh, get his food by, by begging you know what is begging you have seen beggars right so he used to get food uh, by begging in front of others one day he got a pot of milk a lady gave him a pot of milk and when he came home what he did he drank some milk from it and he put some curd in the uh, remaining milk as he sat down to rest he started off he started to dream of being rich one day he dreamed that the pot of milk would be a pot of curd the next day then he would make butter from the pot of curd if i melt that butter i will get ghee i will take the ghee to the market i will sell it for a good price with the money that i get by selling ghee i will buy a hen the hen will lay many eggs i will sell some eggs now what he did he drank some milk that he got from a lady and he added some curd to the remaining milk and he sat there and what did he did he was a daydreamer he always dreams of becoming rich a rich man now also he started dreaming and he is dreaming that he had put some curd in the remaining milk right so he is dreaming the next day he will get a pot of a pot full of curd and what he will do with that he will make butter from that pot of curd and after melting that butter he will make ghee and he will take the ghee to the market and he will sell it for a good price and after selling the ghee with that money he will buy a hen and what will happen the hen will lay many eggs and he will sell some of the eggs from it the remaining eggs hatch i will have chicks the chicks will become hens soon i will have a poultry farm of my own and what he will do he will sell he will hatch the remaining eggs here and he will get some chicks from that and the chicks will grow up to hens and soon he will be starting a poultry farm of his own poultry farm means the place to grow hens and other birds for meat and eggs then continue to dream i will sell the hens and buy a cow the cow will give me milk there will be many cows everyone will buy milk from me my dairy farm will be the biggest in the country then i will have a lot of money with this money i will buy horses too then i will marry some rich merchant's beautiful daughter now he is continuing to dream what he is dreaming now after sell having a poultry farm he what he will do he will sell his hens and 
he will buy a cow now and uh, he will be having many calves then now everyone will buy milk from him and his dairy farm dairy farm means what uh, poultry farm means uh, a place to grow hens and other birds for meat and eggs dairy farm means a place to grow animals like cow and goat for milk and milk products okay now his dairy farm will be the biggest in the country now what he will have then he will earn a lot of money from his dairy farm he thought of buying horses with this money and he will he also thought of marrying some rich man's beautiful daughter okay he continued dreaming and now he smiled and he was thinking of having a cute son after marrying a rich merchant's beautiful daughter he thought of having a cute son and what he will name his son he will name him deepak and he will fly kites and play marbles with him and they will play hide and seek when they play hide and seek where he will hide he will hide in the horses stable stable means what you know what a stable it is a place for keeping horses he is thinking oh he is dreaming and he is saying to himself lying down kriben continued to dream as he continued to dream he played with the stick he carried when he went to beg for food inside in sorry hiding in the stable i will call my son's name okay now he is lying down and continuing to dream okay while dreaming he um, in dream he is hiding in um, he is hiding in the horse stable right now his son is coming and he calls his name now he is having a stick with him actually he is dreaming but he is having a stick with him which he used to carry when he goes for begging when he comes to find me i might see a horse about to kick my son to save my son i will hit the horse with a stick now what he is saying in his dream he calls the name of his son while hiding in the horse stable okay now when his son is coming he, there a horse is sorry a horse is about to kick his son now to save his son he what did he do he hit the horse with a stick actually he is dreaming but uh, in reality he is having the stick with him which he used to take when he go for begging and what did he do he raised the stick and hit in the air but it struck on the pot with his stick now what happened the pot of the milk broke and all of the milk has fallen on his face okay now only he realized that he is daydreaming i will send you the exercise section through whatsapp okay now let us move on to the grammar section as you have learned already adjectives are words that give more information about a person thing or a place they are also known as describing words as they describe or qualify the noun we have already learned what are adjectives what are adjectives the words that modifies a noun or the words that give more information about a noun noun means person in a naming word of a person place or thing or animal okay now they describe or qualify the noun hari's shoes got dirty here which is the adjective the words uh, given in bold letters are the adjectives here here it modifies the noun shoes 
right it gives more information about the thing shoes shoes got dirty means it gives more about a gay dirty means go gives more information about the noun shoes here the house was quiet and dark here quiet and dark are the adjectives that gives more information about the noun house this rose is fresh here fresh is the adjective that gives more information about the noun rose in the above sentences dirty describes the shoes quiet and dis dark describe the house fresh describes the rose fill in the blanks with the adjectives given in the box okay now here are some sentences given below now what you have to do is you have to fill in the blanks you have to complete the sentence with the adjectives given in the pink color box above our grandparents live in a dash village okay here is the adjective of village given adjective that has to be used with village like that for each sentence there will be a adjective given in the box above now you have to do it write it read the following sentences kolkata is an old city kolkata is a big old city kolkata is a beautiful big old city okay when we use more than one adjective we have to use them in the following order here see opinion what we think of a person or thing examples are given here this is uh, means opinion means what we think of a person or thing like this he is beautiful or he is kind or he is nice that's all our opinion about a person right like that size it is big it is small or it is large like that we use the size what about age how we use it new old it is new or it is old or he is young or he is old and how we uh, describe the colors pink color green color blue color like that okay if you are using same uh, if you are using more than one adjective to a noun like kolkata is an old city kolkata is a big old city kolkata is a beautiful old city here we use a comma in between the adjectives okay now there are four more sentences given below now you have to place the adjectives in the correct order my mother bought me a new pretty dress you have to rearrange it and you have to place the adjectives in the correct order like that the dog had a brown small young puppy i gave my new nice red doll to my friend tom is a young helpful boy you now have to rearrange the adjectives in these sentences in the correct order nouns are classified or grouped into four types of gender masculine feminine common and neuter look at these pairs of nouns man woman king queen father mother okay nouns such as man king and father belong to masculine gender means it includes only male man means it is male right male category king is also male father is also male means masculine gender means they refer to the males only here feminine means here noun such as woman queen mother all belongs to female category right so they are feminine gender masculine gender means they refer to male category and feminine gender means they refer to feminine category uh, sorry female category 
now words such as student teacher lawyer and so on belong to the common gender here student teacher lawyer here uh, it can refer to either a male or female it is not mentioned here whether it is a male or female so we can uh, add it into the common gender student teacher lawyer etc because they refer either to a male category or a female category so it is common gender words such as table chair bag school and box belong to the neuter gender as they belong to neither the male group nor the female group they are non living things uh, that do not have life here uh, nouns that refer to the male category is masculine gender nouns that belong that refer to the female category is feminine gender and nouns that refer to either a male or female is a common gender and the nouns that belong to neither a male or nor a female category is what neuter gender means non living things like chair table etc belong to the neuter gender okay, here are some words in family feminine and masculine genders feminine feminine means female group and masculine means male group here are some words given in feminine and masculine genders woman it is feminine gender right means female man is a masculine gender sister brother daughter son empress emperor grandmother grandfather queen king princess prince aunt uncle wife husband hen rooster cow bull tigress tiger lioness lion okay here in the first column they all belong to the family gender and the second column all the words belong to the masculine gender look at the list of nouns given below and write them against the correct gender here are some uh, words or nouns given in the box okay now you have to write it along against the correct gender here masculine gender feminine gender common gender neuter gender topic is given now you have to select the words or nouns from the from the box and write it against the correct gender Okay, next is dig page number 15 a note is a written record that is usually brief and to the point let us learn how to write a simple note now here is a conversation between reeda and arun okay let us see what is the conversation reeda hello arun hello aunty reeda arun is your mother home arun No, Andy. She has gone to the market. Rita, please tell her that the ladies' club meeting is at three o'clock today. I don't sure, Andy. I will inform her about it. Rita, thank you. I don't has made a note to his mother on his phone conversation. It is as follows. Now, Rita has called Arun's mother, and she was not at home at that time. now they had a conversation in between we home reeta and arun okay reeta has told arun something now he has to pass the information to his mother and how he does turn he has written a record means written a not it is brief only the points have to be written here let us see how he has written that Mother, Rita Andy had called when you had gone to the market. She told me that the ladies' club meeting is at three o'clock today. I am going to play with my friends. I don't. Now, when she come home, she will see the notice. It is brief, and all the points are included in the note. Right? Okay. This is how to write a note. There is an activity for you. Here is another another conversation between a father and his son. Father, hello. 
Karan. Hello, Dad. Father. Karan, where is your mom? Karan. She has gone to Sheila Auntie's house. She will be back in a few minutes. Father, why didn't you go for your badminton classes? Karan. I am going right now, Dad. Father. Okay, tell Mom that I have booked tickets for a circus show at 7 o'clock this evening. All of you should be ready for the show when I came, come back at 5.30. Here, this is a conversation between a father and his son. Now, what you have to do is, like the previous page, like Arun has written the notes now, you have to write a note like that. Here, it is already given. Only what you have to do is, you have to complete the sentences with appropriate words. Okay, you have to do it and send it to me through WhatsApp, okay? Okay, that's all for your class now. Thank you.